Coming up on Blazer Action News, we'll show you some spooky smiles with Zombie Fest, and later we'll learn to cook with Carlos. Today is October 28th, and Blazer Action News starts now. What's up, Blazers? I'm Caleb Taylor. I don't know about y'all, but I love me some brain food. Blazer Action News reporters Joe Henning Garcia and Genesis Olguin dig up a story on this year's Fright Filled Zombie Fest. Genesis reporting for Blazer Action News, and we decided to make our way to Zombie Fest. Let's see what some of them have to say. These are some of the films produced by SIZ high school students for the second annual Zombie Fest. Students from all SIZ schools gathered at the SAC to celebrate the gorgeous night of the year. On Tuesday, October 25th, the festival enjoyed a short film competition, games, booths, zombies, and much more. I think Zombie Fest is a pretty great festival to bring a bunch of filmmakers together all to have a good time. SIZ Marketing and Sales Coordinator Erica Lucero explains why Zombie Fest was created. Yes, Zombie Fest is a production we created at El Dorado, believe it or not. We wanted to showcase student talent and we wanted to bring a challenge to SISD. Last year, Socorro won, and this year we have it at the big and beautiful SISD SAC, and we can't wait to see uh, who the winner is tonight. Be ready to be terrified, Zombie Fest 2017. Reporting from Blazer Action News, I'm Johanny Garcia. According to DoSomething.org, teenage pregnancy is the leading reason for young women dropping out of school. Let's take a look at some of the responsibilities facing young women. So, there's this guy. Mm -hmm. He came over this one time. What? Why didn't you ever tell me this before? You're the first person I tell. I, I, I don't know what to do. Did you take a test? Yeah. What did the test say? It said positive. Oh my god, it's me. I used to love going to school. My future was bright. One bad decision took it all away. It changed my life forever. Make healthy decisions. Remember to make healthy decisions, Trailblazers. And if you ever have any questions, you can talk to your counselor. Now, we have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back after this. Do you think this is scary? The real horror is drunk driving. I believe you have come to bring me the money you owe me. Well, sir, I've been trying to get the money I owe you. It's just... Oh, you poor fool. You're lucky I'm a negotiable guy. I'll cut you a deal. One last gamble. If you win, you're free from your debt. However, if I win, I take your life. I get this outfit dirty. I'm going to be so annoyed. Knowing how to make a tasty snack is a good skill to have. So, Blazer Action News presents Cooking with Carlos. 
Welcome back to Cooking with the Poppies. I'm Carlos Fajitas. And I'm Nick. And today we're gonna teach you how to make one of the most gourmet, delectable, delicious meals coming straight from Italy. Chef Boyardi. Let's get into it. First, you're gonna need to open the ravioli. Once you open the can, we're gonna head back to the oven and heat it up. Let's see. Is your blood dripping into the ravioli? Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. It's fine, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. Let, let's go. Here, hold this. Hey, um, don't you want a spoon? Nah, we don't need one. Now we're gonna put it in the microwave for about three minutes. While the ravioli is warming up, we're gonna go take a look on our special guest who's about to enjoy the best meal of his life. Let's go check it out. Sir, you're our special guest of the night. Oh, really? Thank you, man. I feel honored. Yes, and because of it, we're gonna give you the best meal of your life. Oh, the best. Oh, dude, I'm amazed. Thank you so much. I think it's ready now. I'm gonna go get it and come back. All right, thank you. You wait right here. All right. Sir, what are you doing? I'm just making a fork, uh, like a four out of four, you know? But you're eating those. You're not gonna need utensils, son. Try this. Bone apple tea. So what did you think, sir? <sighs> I have a very important matter to talk about. You guys, you know, everything, the food, and the restaurant. That was the most awesome experience I've ever had. That was the best food ever, dude. Honestly. And that's what you get when you're cooking, cooking with, with the puppies. See you next time. I'm not so hungry anymore, but let's see what Alex has for us in this week's sports. What's up, Blazers? I'm Alex Martinez, also known as Juicy Fruit, and this is Blazer Blitz. Let's see what our lady volleyball players have done. They played El Dorado and had a 3-2 loss. They finished off their season with their 3-7 record. Now my favorite sport, cross country. The varsity girls took on districts last weekend and took the district champ title. They are now proceeding to regionals to tackle state. Now on to football. As you all know, our football team continued their winning streak with a 35-45 win over Marwood. As you all know, Josh Fields is one of the best players of America's high school. Now watch, he breaks one, two. Now he leaps into the end zone. Now watch Chips drops back, throws a big pass. Number three catches it, running down to the sidelines. Now it's time for the biggest game of the year. They take on El Dorado, one of the biggest rival games of this year. Like last year, they're competing for the district title. Go out and support our Trailblazers at the SAC tonight at 7. That's it for Blazer Blitz. I'm Juicy Fruit, signing off. Thanks, Alex. For many students, the pressure for paying for college can be a major deal. Scholarships are a great way to get cash for college. Visit our website for a complete list of scholarships available for you. There are tons to choose from. For example, Zombie Apocalypse Scholarship is giving away $2,000 for qualified students. Deadline is October 31st. That's not all. Tuesday, November 1st, Americas is hosting a college finance night. Here you can find out everything you need to know about college. Americas High School is preparing for the second annual Blazer Bash. Blazer Bash aims to promote how to stay safe this Halloween. Drugs, alcohol safety, and health chair Melissa Rodriguez on why Americas is hosting Blazer Bash. We host Blazer Bash in order to create a safe and friendly environment for everyone to come and to have fun. Student organizations are asked to decorate a car and give away candy. There will also be a blood drive, food trucks, games, a costume contest, live performances, and much more. The Fright Filled Fest starts at 4.30 on Halloween Monday, October 31st. Thanks for watching. I'm Caleb Taylor. And this has been Blazer Action News.